Hello everybody, and welcome to the 40 and Slip Bedtime Stories. Tonight, a father and son's encounter with the Michigan Dog Man. This account took place in Alpena, Michigan in 2001. My dad and I have a story to tell about our encounters with the Dog Man. My dad's story took place in the mid-70s. There is a cemetery behind the Alpena High School and a wooded area behind that. There are many trails that run through here. In this area is a place called the Sandies, where all the young kids would go and party. My dad and two of his buddies were in a canoe in broad daylight, paddling from the Sandies around the back of the cemetery. The banks of the river are 10 to 12 feet high in places, and some trails run right to the edge. The three of them saw what looked to be a big dog running behind them on the trail. They didn't pay much attention to it until they heard a splash. When they looked it was swimming after them. Then it went from a dog paddle to the chest and front legs coming out of the water waiting after them. They decided right then not to wait around to see what it was. Honestly, I thought it was BS at the time, and I'm still not sure to this day if it was something they had been smoking or drinking. Then around 2001-2002, I was leading some friends through the Sandy's trails. I used to like taking people out there without flashlights and tell them my dad's story to freak them out. The girls were freaked out before we even got into the woods, so I decided not to scare them that night. In the river are small several islands connected by a small sliver of land. At the time, there were three such islands chained together, and I took them through to the last one which was planted with pines in nice even rows. I was the first one back there, about 30 seconds ahead, when one of the girls got her foot hung up on something. As I was going back to help her, there was a spot where the trees make a sort of roof effect which is really cool looking at the night with the moon shining through. At that point I saw something. I'm not sure what it was, but it sent me running out double time. When my buddy saw my face, he didn't say a word. He just followed, both of us dragging the girls behind us. When he asked me later why I came out in such a hurry, I told him it was because I thought I had seen something at the other end of the island walking through the trees that was very tall and not likely human. He may not have believed me, but he never questioned it either. I'm still not sure what I saw. It could easily have been that I scared myself from my dad's story and was seeing things. But I know this, I still don't like the dark, and even though I love hunting, I hate going out before the sun comes up during deer season.